All right, friends, welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be splitting basswood and American Elm. And what we're gonna be doing is a comparison between the time it takes to split the two. There we got Elm and there we got basswood. Basswood splits really nice, not as good as red oak, but it splits pretty good. And obviously you guys know how Elm splits. So we are gonna find a couple, maybe like, five or so rounds of each that are the same size and I'm going to split both of them as fast as I can and we're going to time it and we're going to see how fast it takes. So I'm going to get some sorted out. I'll show you first. I'll show you knots if there are any and things like that and then we're going to see what happens. All right guys I got some sorted out here. So the basswood is on the bottom and the elm is on the top and I stacked them on top of each other so you can see their relevance and size. I'll show you the back, just so you know I'm not cheating. They're all pretty close to the same size. So what I'm gonna do again, first we're gonna do the elm. We're gonna split it into pieces that I like. I'm gonna try my best to split both of them to the same size pieces. Um, and yeah, we'll time it and we'll see how much of a difference there is. I'm not saying that there is going to be a large or not large distance or uh, distance of time between the two. I'm pretty interested too, but we're going to see what happens here. So I'm going to get the splitter on and we're going to do elm first. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to start with the small one. Got the larger one here and I got the other three sitting on the ground right here. So I'm going to turn the splitter on. We're starting with the splitter head all the way back. As soon as I, my hand touches the lever, that's when the time starts. See, we're going to get her started here. Oh, and I just thought of something. We better fill up the gas tank. We don't want to run out of gas mid competition. Real interested in which one is going to win and how big of a difference there are between the two. Never done, never done these videos where you do a little competition or something like that. So it'll be fun. Okay, that is ample. All right, here we go.
go. Wow. That that one, that one was really nasty. You know the one I'm talking about where it went super slow. Oh man. Also, this the bark is falling off and it just gets in the tracks and oh. So those are the cons of splitting elm. Extremely stringy. And the splitter, it's really hard on the splitter when it's going through some of those. So that was elm. We're going to do the same with the basswood. You guys are going to see it. the basswood splits a lot cleaner. So I'm going to go stack this elm quick and I'll be right back with the basswood. All right, here we go. It's basswood time. I'm going to turn her on and get the head all the way back and then we're going to get started. time wow that felt a lot faster wow that's great so i do not yet know the results of the challenge so i'm going to go edit this video and i will be back when i've seen everything and we're going to talk about it all right there it is all stacked the basswood and the elm it took a whole one minute and 36 seconds in between those two um, the elm split longer. So if you, um, do the, I'm not going to do the math, but I mean, if you split elm for a really long time and then the basswood for a really long time, there's going to be way bigger of a difference in there. So overall elm definitely takes a lot longer to split. Maybe if you had a more powerful splitter, it would, uh, it would be a different amount of time, most likely. Like if you had one with a, instead of a splitter head there, a ram, and then the split part was right here. And it was powerful enough, like if, if I were using an Easton made with this, and I had the right, um, the right way on it, I guess you could say the four way, six way, whatever, uh, it would probably reduce that. But with this splitter, it's going to take a lot longer. So... For me, when I split elm, it doesn't really make me angry when I'm splitting it. Um, so I, I I don't enjoy it, but I don't hate it either. So it's all right. I take it. It's firewood. It burns really nice. I've, I've burned elm before, 
it's really uh, it's really nice to start a fire with elm because these get super dry the stringiness the strings they start on fire and then the log starts on fire and then it just is really nice to start a fire with so i like elm some people don't but i do it's a it's a nice firewood to burn so also a lot of you were like wow that elm splits nice when i was doing the red elm i do agree red elm splits a lot nicer than this stuff i mean there were some pieces in there i think yeah over here right here this one like that's all the only thing on this one this one not very many strings at all just this red elm is really nice uh let's do a little i didn't show much of stacking all of this so this was a right here that's all oak that was a free facebook marketplace thing i did that i did not film and then this is El all elm that's all elm this is the elm and uh box or uh, basswood this is all box elder from the property and yeah that's all the new newer stuff so we're filling in this little area back here by the by the pallet house so this is my little station to stack rounds we got uh, pallets ready to be stacked on right here and uh that's the rest of the space to stack until we start moving over there that's gonna suck i'm gonna have to walk for the with the wheelbarrow all the way over there to stack should have moved the pallet house built it over there but i did it over here but yeah i've been splitting so it's good it's got a lot of wood thank you guys for watching everyone and we will catch you on the next one